That is critical message is from the emergency alert system. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. A chemical weapon with an unknown payload has been detonated in Washington, D.C. The detonation occurred at approximately 8 a.m. today, but due to high wind conditions the violet chemical cloud created by the weapon has already been spotted in the skies above Prince George's and Montgomery County in Maryland, as well as Fairfax County in Virginia. The weapon was detonated just outside of the Capitol building on the lawn where a fence was constructed after the January 6, 2022 riot. There were no immediately reported deaths as a result of the explosion, but there were a dozen injuries linked to the blast. Due to the fast-moving nature of the chemical cloud, evacuation of the immediately surrounding areas is not feasible. All residents of Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, Delaware and Pennsylvania are urged to shelter in place until more information can be gathered. Residents of the, the five states are advised to keep all doors and windows shut, close all external vents, and turn off all air conditioning units until further notice. Any structural cracks or holes should be plugged with wet rags or clothing. All residents of Ohio, New York, New Jersey, Kentucky, and North Carolina are urged to contact their local authorities to determine the best course of action for either evacuation or shelter in place. Early reports taken from victims closest to the explosion have reported a number of symptoms that appear to be from direct exposure to the chemical cloud. These symptoms include irritation of the eyes, mouth, and nose. So far no other physical symptoms have been reported, and it is unclear at this time what the long-term effects will be. No individuals taken to the hospital have exhibited any indications of the chemical being lethal, but scientists are still working on determining exactly what chemicals were used in the weapon and how they will interact with the environment. However, every patient administered to the hospital has displayed aggressive behavior that appears to be linked to hallucinations and paranoia. If you see either purple, pink or red colored smoke in the sky, please call your local authorities so that they can better track this threat to all residents of the area. Do not go outside to better observe any visible clouds as sometimes certain chemicals have been known to travel in front of other chemicals and it's possible the violet coloring does not contain all of the dangerous chemicals from this weapon. If you see any individuals exhibiting strange or erratic behavior after seeing a colored cloud pass through your area, please contact your local authorities immediately. If any member of your household begins to display aggressive or strange behavior, immediately subdue and bind them with rope or cloth. Place them in a bathtub and turn on any bathroom vents. Fill the tub with warm water and or give the person a warm shower for 15 minutes. Repeat the process every 15 minutes until symptoms dissipate. If you believe you have been exposed, administer the, the aforementioned instructions to yourself as well for as long as possible or, if you're experiencing any symptoms, until symptoms dissipate. It is unknown at this time how long the potential dissipation of symptoms will take. This critical message is from the emergency alert system. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. The violet color from the chemical clouds seen after the chemical attack in D.C. dissipated a few hours after the initial blast, but additional readings proved the chemicals found in the cloud were still in the air and spreading throughout the East Coast for days after the initial event. Analysis of the cloud revealed the purple color was only a dye believed to have been used with the attack to create a false sense of security upon the dissipation of the color, as well as create a level of fear for people witnessing the cloud move. The FBI has discovered that the chemical attack in D.C. stemmed from a theft of various chemical agents and research from a number of chemical plants and research facilities around the nation, including the Edgewood Arsenal facility located in Aberdeen, M.D., Declassified files indicate the Edgewood Arsenal facility was conducting research on a mind control substance that would be used for military applications. At the facility, lysergic acid diethylamide, known commonly as LSD, had been converted into a vapor. In addition to the altered form, it was changed to be more conducive to absorption through the eyes, and an increase in the brain's susceptibleness to suggestion while under the hallucinogenic effects of the drug was also added. 
Anyone that was still in Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, or Pennsylvania from the time of the explosion all the way up to three days after the explosion was likely exposed. And authorities are calling for anyone that was in the aforementioned states during that time period to report to the nearest hospital for testing. Before reporting to the hospital, we ask that you take a warm shower and only wear clothes that have been washed since the initial explosion. Due to the altered LSD's persistent abilities, anyone that was evacuated is asked to thoroughly wash all clothes they had while still in the evacuated states, including shoes, purses, coats, and other items that are not usually washed. Do not take any items to the dry cleaners. There have also been some reports of people living near the gathering locations for the evacuees displaying symptoms of exposure to the altered LSD. The altered LSD's effects appear to activate sporadically for a few minutes at a time. These events of activation, termed altered LSD events or AL for short, come with amnesia in the victims, making it impossible for people to self-report after experiencing an event. If you witness anyone acting strangely or if there are long gaps in your recent memory, call your local authorities immediately and inform them of your symptoms. Behavior of individuals suffering the effects of altered LSD include physical aggression, biting or snapping at anything that moves, walking or running into things, lying on the ground and talking gibberish, hair pulling, and unprovoked assault of property. Researchers believe that people suffering from the effects of the altered LSD are susceptible to suggestion, and if you are assaulted in a situation where fleeing is impossible, it is recommended that you suggest your assailant do something. A phrase many people have used with success is to instruct the assailant to go and find a specific object that is not in the vicinity they are currently in, causing the assailant to leave the area for a while. Though seemingly too easy to be effective, this is a tactic has reportedly saved the lives of many people. Thus far the chemicals are no longer showing up in air tests. The chemical can only remain in vapor form for a number of days, but it was also altered to be able to change forms based on physical contact. It is no longer in the air, but soil and wood samples indicate the newly created chemical is still persisting in nature. Additional materials are being tested as well. Walking or striking objects that contain the chemical causes it to revert back to its gaseous form. At this time authorities are unsure how long it will be before the affected areas are habitable again. This critical message is from the emergency alert system. This is not a test. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to inform you of an imminent threat to public safety and well-being. The number and duration of AIL occurrences has increased regularly every day, and sufferers are now exhibiting symptoms for hours instead of minutes. Scientists discovered the altered LSD damages neural pathways during occurrences of AIL, but they are yet to uncover exactly what has caused the degradation. Thus far a cure or potential reversal of the extending of AIL has not been discovered. The Edgewood Arsenal facility reported to the FBI that they had received a number of threats leading up to the theft that occurred, and it is still unclear whether military personnel or civilian staff at the facility had a hand in assisting the thieves. However, the FBI has uncovered that the thieves were possible member of a secret reptilian society. The investigation is ongoing and no further details were provided at this time in relation to the criminal case. The FBI believes there is another impending attack on U.S. soil. An exact location has not been confirmed, but authorities believe a likely target would somewhere along the southern border or west coast. If you have any information related to either the D.C. chemical weapon attack or the second potential chemical attack, please call 778 330-2389 or reach out to your local authorities. If you know anyone who is a member of the secret reptilian cult, you are also encouraged to call 778-330-2389 or your local authorities. A reward is being offered for information in certain situations. Due to the constantly changing situation and ever-evolving variables, Residents across the nation are encouraged to remain indoors as much as possible and report any relevant information to the proper authorities. <laughs>